In this lesson, we're going to continue with using PEMDAS, and we're going to add in fraction bars. Fraction bars work just as if they are parentheses, so anything above or below them should be considered grouped together and inside a set of parentheses. If there is a set of parentheses actually written in on top or bottom of a fraction bar, obviously that works as if it were an inner set and they should be done first. In this example, we have z plus 3 divided by 4 minus 1, and we're evaluating it when z equals 2. So the first thing we'll do is substitute 2 in for z. That gives us 2 plus 3 over 4 minus 1. We do the top first, again as if it was in parentheses. 2 plus 3 is 5. Gives us 5 over 4 minus 1. Now we have 5 fourths, which is the same as 1 and 1 fourth. So we have 1 and 1 fourth. Take away 1 gives us just 1 fourth. Okay, in the lesson, example C was a calculator problem, so we're going to do the guided practice instead for a little bit more practice here. I'm going to do each step in a different color so you can see which things have changed from place to place. First thing we're going to do is substitute in values for each of the variables. We have 2 times the quantity w plus x minus 2z. w is going to be 11, x is going to be 3, z is going to be negative 2, and then we're taking that whole thing and dividing it by y plus 2, quantity squared, where y is 1. So let's substitute in the values for the variables. That will give us 2 times the quantity 11 plus 3 minus 2 times negative 2 all over y plus 2 or 1 plus 2 squared minus 1. Okay, now we're going to do our innermost math uh, math operations with the parentheses. So we have 2 times negative 2. That gives us negative 4. And 3 minus negative 4. We'll remain in parentheses up here. We have 11 plus that quantity. On the bottom now we have 1 plus 2 inside the parentheses. That's 3. 3 squared, still have a negative 1 out here, and that whole thing is still being multiplied by 2. Okay, next step, we're going to go ahead and do our 3 minus negative 4 inside the parentheses. So we have 11 plus subtracting a negative is the same as adding, so we have 11 plus 7 over 3 squared, that's 9 minus 1, and we still have our 2 outside the parentheses. Now we have 11 plus 7, a new color here. 11 plus 7 is 18, so we're going to have 18 over 9, minus 1, that whole thing times 2. 18 divided by 9 is 2. So we have 2 minus 1 inside the parentheses times 2 outside the parentheses. 2 minus 1 is 1, and 1 times 2 is 2. So our final answer is 2. There are a lot of steps in this one, but again, take it piece by piece. Make sure you check your order of operations each time. You'll find it's not nearly as daunting or intimidating as it appears at first.